What's up? It's Jenny J here and today we're going to be doing a super intense full body strength workout designed to help you tone up, boost metabolism and burn awesome calories during the workout because we'll be using your entire body your heart rate is going to be elevated now we will be doing it circuit style which means we got six exercises we'll spend about 30 seconds doing each move followed by about a 15 to 30 second rest slash transition into the next move now round one i'll probably slow those transitions down just to break down the exercises so that you know exactly what to do before we actually do it then after the first round we'll take a small mini break and and do it again for a total of four rounds. Now, as always, take this class at your own pace. You can control the intensity of this workout by either increasing or decreasing the weight or changing your tempo, going faster or slower. Just remember, if you are going a little bit faster, always prioritize form, quality over quantity. All right, so I have a few set of weights here. I have a heavy and a light. You might wanna grab some different options for you. And if you don't have dumbbells at home, feel free to grab canned goods, water bottles, laundry detergent, get creative. All right, let's get started with our warm up. Let's bring those feet nice and wide here. Roll those shoulders back and down. Let's open up the chest, belly in. Inhale, hands up. Exhale, let it go. Again. Let's do two more. Really get that oxygen into those lungs. Last one. Awesome. From here, let's bring those feet about shoulder distance apart. Go into some easy shoulder circles, warming up the arms. Now again, this workout is going to be full body, but you will especially feel it in those shoulders, biceps, legs, and booty. Let's go ahead and reverse, bring it forward. Remember to take this class at your own pace. I will be providing options throughout class, but remember your best option is to always just drop down and go body weight. You don't need to add extra weight to get the benefits of strength training because you have a body that is a free piece of equipment. So just remember that. All right, from here, let's practice our body weight squats, perfecting our form. Let's go feet shoulder distance apart, open up that chest, belly in. Your hands can come to your heart center as you drop those hips back. I want you to think about sitting back in a chair, knees are in line with toes, sinking into that booty, driving into the heels, pressing the hips forward, squeezing those butt cheeks together at the top. We'll do 10 together. Here we go. Down and up. This is nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome. From here, we're gonna go into reverse lunges. So I'm gonna go side profile for you. Shoulders are stacked right on top of those hips. You're gonna take a big step back with one foot. Now make sure both feet are on two different railroad tracks. You're gonna drop that bottom knee down as low as you can, trying to create a 90 degree angle in between both legs. Come on up and then switch sides. Now let's make sure that those eyes are looking forward. You're not leaning forward, you're not leaning back. Your weight is distributed evenly between both legs. If you need an option, simply reduce that range of motion. You do not have to go as low. You can just come halfway. We're here for four, three, two, and one. Awesome. From here, we're going to go into a good morning. This is the same motion that we use for a deadlift. So let's break it down. Feet shoulder distance apart, soft knees. Hands are behind the head, elbows wide. You're gonna keep this posture nice and tall, split your body in half as you hinge from those hips. Find a tall posture, even though you're leaning forward, eyes are looking down. Feel the tightness in your hamstrings and your glutes, and then press those hips forward, come back to a stand. We're gonna stay here for 10 reps. In three, two, one, let's go. Down and up, this is one. Two, three, four, no rounding of the shoulders, five, six, seven, eight, 
nine, and 10, good. We'll go into a standing crunch here. So waking up these oblique side of the abs, we will be doing some standing core exercises. So bring that elbow, elbows wide. You're going to bring that knee up and then twist your torso to the same side as that knee. Think belly button to the back of your spine. Let's try not to hunch over. So we don't wanna like round ourselves down. We wanna keep that body nice and tall and just find that deep twist as if you're wringing your ribs like a drenched towel and you're trying to drain all that water out, right? We're here for four and three, two and one. All right, so hopefully you're feeling nice and warm. Again, like I said, we got six exercises, 30 seconds on the clock. I'll demo each move before we go. So I'm gonna grab my heavier weight. We have a deadlift to a front squat. So I'm gonna show you first and then we'll go together. Feet are about shoulder distance apart. Palms are facing in, dumbbells right at the hips. You're gonna go into that hip hinge position. So bring that booty back and down. Dumbbells are grazing your legs all the way to about shin height. You're gonna come back up, bring those dumbbells to the shoulders, then drop your seat into a front squat. So there's two fundamental movements that we need to know. There's a hinge, load it up, then a squat. All right, they should look vastly different. So we're gonna do 30 seconds of this exercise and then we will be done. It's about eight reps or so. And I do like to go with the beat of the music, so feel free to join me. Here we go, drop it down. Squat it, repeat. Now this might be pretty fast for you. So slow it down, especially as you're getting used to the movements. We're already halfway there. Give me two more. Last one and rest. Good, set those dumbbells down if you need to. I'm gonna show you the next exercise. We have two by two lunges. So feet together. We drop it down for two, up for two, then switch. Down for two, up for two. Again, you can take this body weight, so no weights in your hands, or if you want a little bit more resistance, dumbbells are right at your side. Let's keep that core nice and tight, chest up. Here we go, four, three, two, drop it down. Down for two, up and switch. Going nice and slow to really get that range of motion. We should be feeling this in our legs and our booty. Four more, please. I told you these circuits are quick. Consider round one is just kind of like your warm up. You're learning the exercises. Last one. And rest. All right, let's go ahead and drop one dumbbell down. From here, we're gonna go into a half wood chopper. You're gonna use this dumbbell, pretend like it's an ax. You got some wood on your side. You're gonna bring that ax right to the shoulder. Use those obliques, squeeze the abs as you chop it down. Notice how I'm pivoting from my hips, knees, and ankles to do the chop, all right? 30 seconds on one side, load it up. Here we go, bring it down and up. This is a full body exercise. I want you to focus on the core. You gotta keep it nice and strong, halfway. And notice how I'm getting a little bit deeper into my legs every single time I chop that wood. Good, give me two more. And rest. Nice job, take a breath here. Woo! All right, we're gonna do that on the other side. So remember, we're gonna twist, bring that dumbbell to the left or right shoulder and slice it. Here we go, let's go. This is a great standing ab exercise. Making sure that you're really twisting hips, knees and ankles are all moving in one unit, four more, three, 
two and one, rest. Woo! Okay, next exercise. We're gonna stand up nice and tall. I'm out of breath already. They're gonna bring one dumbbell or two dumbbells right in front of that rib cage. Palms are facing up. Now from here, you're gonna just extend it out to shoulder height. I want you to think about keeping that core nice and tight. You're gonna get into the front of the shoulders as well as the biceps. Here we go, four, three, two, and one. Let's go. Now you wanna to try to bring those elbows nice and straight. It's like you're serving a platter forward. You're halfway. Keep those knees nice and soft. We have four, three, two, and rest. All right, grab that second dumbbell. Coming up to your last exercise. Alternating, rotating shoulder press. You're gonna have those feet shoulder distance apart, load those dumbbells at the shoulders. From here, you're gonna rotate to the side as you press one dumbbell up, come back to center, switch. Okay, notice how, again, my hips, knees, and ankles are moving in one unit. Bring that dumbbell up to the sky. Here we go. 30 seconds. Let's go for it. Press, press. Try to get that elbow nice and straight. Bicep comes straight to the ear. Halfway there. Keep that belly in. Four more. Last two. And rest. Grab a quick sip of water. Awesome job. Hey, how'd you do? That was round one. So we have three more rounds to go. I demoed the moves in between, so it took a little bit more time in your transition. This time, now that you know the exercises, we're gonna go straight through. 30 seconds of work, followed by 15 seconds of rest. This is gonna help you get that heart rate up so that even though we're working on strength, you're getting a really good cardio workout too. One of the best, most effective ways to get them together. So let's go ahead and grab those dumbbells. First exercise, deadlift to front squat. I'll give you a small break here. We'll go on the next 32 count. I'm a dancer, I always have to go to the music. It's just, it's in my blood. <laughs> Here we go, let's set up. Feet shoulder distance apart. Open up that chest. Here we go, hinge and squat. 30 seconds. Down, get low. Again, you control your intensity by either increasing or decreasing that weight. Make sure you stay in control of your body. If you feel out of control going this fast, slow it down please. Two more. Last one. And rest, nice work. Chill. Two by two reverse lunges. Take a breath. Inhale through the nose, exhale out through the mouth. All right, here we go. Get ready in four, three, two, let's go. Down for two, up and switch. Down for two, up and switch. Eyes are looking forward, not at the floor. Four more. Can you get a little bit lower? Two more, two more. Last one. And rest. Hey, half wood chopper coming up next. Let's grab one of our dumbbells. We place it up at the right shoulder. We slice it down in four, three, two, let's go. Now, focus on that core, squeeze those abs. Halfway. Slicing that ax down. You have four, three, two, and rest. Hey, all right, chill. Other side, half wood chopper. 
I don't know about you, but I feel it in my biceps as well as my shoulders. Load it up. Here we go. Squeeze those abs. Bring it down. Nice and swift. You want to keep it clean, right? Nice and tight. Halfway. You have four more. Last two. And rest. Hey, underhand front press. All right, one or two dumbbells in your hands. We're gonna go ahead and press it forward. Bring that dumbbell right to the rib cage. Four, three, two, let's go. This one is probably like the easiest one to do, but I'm like dying inside. Woo! This is your chance to slow down that heart rate. Elongate that breath. Four, three, two, and rest. Last move, alternating, rotating, shoulder press. Grab that second dumbbell. Load it up at the shoulders. Keep that core nice and tight, soft knees. Four, three, two, let's go. Work. Doesn't it feel so good to get your heart rate up and lift some weights? I don't know about you, but I feel like unstoppable every single time I get my workout in. It just gives you that boost of confidence. Helps you stand up taller. You feel proud of yourself. Two more and rest. Breathe. Hey, guess what? You're at that halfway mark. Two rounds down, we got two to go. I know you got it in you. As you start to kind of get more fatigued, please listen to your body. Drop down those weights if you feel like your form is faltering, okay? So we're gonna go back to the very top. Grab that sip of water if you haven't already. We got our deadlift, two front squat. Are you ready? Let's go straight into it. Let's go, down. Listen, you came for a strength workout. Surprise, cardio too. <laughs> Let's go four more. Two more, make it count. Last one. Rest. Hey, two by two lunges coming your way. Catch your breath. You got this. We'll finish together. Let's get those feet together. Stand tall, four, three, two, down and up, down, two, up, two. The goal is to bring that back knee as low as you can. Now be careful with that front foot. Heel should be down, knee in line with ankle. Two more. Last one, and rest. Half wood chopper next. You're killing it. Wood chopper, one of my favorite exercises. Gets so deep in that core. So good for you. Four, three, two, let's go. You can exhale on the slice. So exhale, inhale. Keep going. Exhaling on the exertion helps you do the actual move. Two more. And rest. Hey. Breathe. You're doing great. Let's go half wood chopper next on the other side. Whew. All right. Four, three, two, let's go. Remember, you gotta stop the momentum of that dumbbell by squeezing those abs super hard. Halfway. 
Four more. Last two. And breathe. Underhand front press. All right, let's go. We got this. Feet shoulder distance. Four, three, two, press it forward. Now, if you're getting tired like me, drop those weights, just do body weight. Or you can go about halfway like this. Yeah? Keep going. Check out those guns. I wanna see those guns later in your sweaty selfies. Last one here. Grab those weights. Uh, the second weight, alternating rotating shoulder press. Hey, if I don't see a sweaty selfie, your workout doesn't count. You better tag me at Jenny G Fitness. I wanna see those. Here we go. Four, three, two, let's go. Up, up. One of the best ways to stay accountable is by sharing your health and fitness journey with the world, your friends, your family. That's how I started my health and fitness journey back in the day. I just started posting my workouts, sharing my healthy recipes. Two more. Last one and rest. Breathe. Three rounds down, one to go. Give yourself a small break here. Awesome work. We're gonna go ahead and finish off with your last round. Now this is the round that is the most important because as you get tired, we get lazy. So we gotta make sure that we focus on really, really good quality form so that we stay safe. Are you ready? Four, three, two, let's go. This is it. If you've been holding back, now is the time. Get as low as you can in those squats. Four more. Two more. Last one. Breathe it out. Hey, two by two lunges. Oh my goodness. Let's do it. Let's finish. We are so close. You're gonna feel so good after this. Four, three, two, let's go. Down and up. Switch. Now, if you're starting to tap out, I want you to find that deep why. Why are you here today? Why are you showing up? What is your ultimate goal? Tap into that. Last one. And rest. Awesome. Half wood choppers next. You know, I find that the best motivation is when you tap into that why power. Why you're here. Why this is important to you. So much stronger than willpower. Here we go. Let's go. Willpower is fleeting. It's like a muscle. The more you use it, the more tired it gets. So tapping into a deeper reason will help you to stay more consistent. Having a vision for what you want is extremely important. Remember that. Visualize success. Two more. Rest. You gotta focus on what you want, all right? Remember that, whether that's creating a vision board, writing down your goals down, putting it on your mirror, reminding yourself of why you're here. Here we go, switch. Remember everything that we want is outside of that comfort zone. If you are not challenging yourself, you are not changing. Keep going. What I always say, is to get comfortable getting uncomfortable. Make that your standard. Last one, and rest. Underhand front press. I want you to struggle at least some point today in class, okay? 
if you're not already. Here we go. Four, three, two, let's go. When we struggle, we find our strength. We realize that we can get through it. We can survive. And not only that, we can thrive. Am I cheesy? <laughs> I like it, okay? <laughs> Four, three, two, alternating rotating shoulder press. This is it, last exercise. And then we get to cool it down. I hope you're so proud of yourself for finishing and sticking through this video. Four, three, two, let's go. A lot of things had to happen in your life for you to show up and take this time for yourself. Be proud of that. You're halfway. Let's go. Four more. Last two. And rest. You made it. Freaking awesome. Towel down, grab a quick sip of water. I'm dripping in sweat, I don't know about you, but you deserve an amazing cool down. So let's go ahead, nice big deep breath, inhale, hands up. Exhale, three more. I want you to tell me how you feel. I hope you feel empowered, I hope you feel strong. Last one, let's go into a shoulder press. Bring this arm across, pull it in. Get this shoulder away from the ear. Again, I told you, sweaty selfies or your workout didn't count. Please go ahead, tag me. Instagram, TikTok, whatever. Open up, switch sides. Awesome work today. We got a full body workout, dripping in sweat from a strength workout, who knew? Let's go ahead, reach those hands up nice and high. Big side body stretch. Open up those abs, obliques. We worked them out in those wood choppers. Go ahead, switch sides. All right, let's bring that foot up, quad stretch. You can grab a chair if you need to. Let's bring those knees to touch. Stretching out the front of the thighs. And let's go ahead, switch sides. Remember, best tip that I can share with you. In order to stick to your workouts, number one, you gotta plan it out. Put it in your calendar, treat it like a doctor's appointment, show up for yourself. Number two, get accountability. Join a Facebook group, join a community, get a program, get a coach, get a trainer. Don't try to do this on your own. That is a surefire way to fail. Let's go ahead, inhale, hands up. Exhale, let it go. One more time, inhale, hands up. Exhale, let it go, killer job. Hey, thank you so much for working out with me today. If you enjoyed that workout, please go ahead, like this video, comment down below, and I wanna know how you feel and maybe what your favorite move was in today's workout. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, subscribe, hit that notification bell so that you get notified every single time I go live or post a new workout video. And hey, if you're not already a part of my incredible JJ Fit Squad, Facebook community, go ahead and join my digital fitness studio, JJF On Demand. You get access to all of my workouts plus four week workout plans. Depending on if you wanna lose weight, get toned, or just dance it out in your living room, I trainer design every single program so that you have no guesswork involved in your workout. All of that information is down below in the description. You can grab a seven day free trial plus 10% off your first month by using the code SLAY2021. Thank you so much. Please share this video with a friend if you enjoyed it and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.